Rocket scientists at New Mexico's spaceport are trying to figure out what went wrong today. After a successful liftoff, a rocket carrying, carrying experiments from students failed to reach outer space. Instead, it crashed in the desert near TRC. Our Bob Martin has the story. Two, one, fire. Look away. It had all the promise of a problem-free blast-off. As planned, the motor shut down a little more than 10 seconds into the flight. But about then, images show the ship gyrated a bit, and there may have been debris. Soon came word the rocket did not reach space and instead crashed just four miles away. And that's about all we know at this point until we recover the black boxes and get the uh, data from the White Sands Missile Range radars. Early suspicions include a failure of a part of the rocket structure or its motor, or perhaps a sudden shift in its balance. Because high-speed rockets are exposed to enormous forces, each of the student experiment canisters had to be carefully balanced with counterweights. If something came loose in flight, it could upset the balance. But other culprits could be a failure in the nose cone or any of many other parts. Although student experiments were the primary payloads, they had company. This flight also carried the ashes of more than a dozen people, some of whom during their time on Earth longed for a journey to space. For a fee, a company called Celestis books passage for the ashes of a friend or loved one. But for Rita Anderson and other friends of Ralph White, they knew the famed Titanic cinematographer would not want to travel alone. And we took a strand of our hair and each one of us put it in the vial. And so he is going with his friends. As for the crash, investigators will study the wreckage and data to try to prevent a reoccurrence. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, near TRC.